Mark in Washington, I would appreciate it if you go to each committee and say to them that when a subpoena is issued, that if they go around and say they're not going to comply, they have federal marshals that will hunt them down and bring them if they refuse them to go to jail. So let me tell you, this is pretty, and this is, and this is the last caucus conversation we've had. Do you know this is really unprecedented? This is the first time we've ever had a situation like this. So they're trying to figure out, no joke, they're trying to figure out, well, is it the DC police that goes and gets them? No, no, where do we hold them? I mean, this is the kind of, like, I'm not in those kinds of conversations, but I'm asking, like, you know, what, what happens? And they're like, well, Rashida, we're trying to figure it out ourselves because this is uncharted territory. I'm sorry. I know, but no, I'm telling you that they, they the, 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 they're trying to be like, well, where are we going to put them? Where are we going to hold? No, I mean, I mean, those are the kinds of things they're trying to tread carefully. I mean, this is, I, I ask, the, I'm like you all, I ask the same questions. Well, what happens when they don't comply? I mean, the fact of the matter is, I we held bar and uh, Secretary Ross from Commerce, the Secretary of Commerce, in contempt. Well, what happens? if they don't continue to not comply. And everybody's looking at each other, we're like, we haven't had this ever happen before. So I just want you to know, I will relay your message. I will tell them they can hold off those people right here in Detroit. We'll take care of them. Uh, and make sure they show up to the committee hearings. We won't hurt up, just make sure they come and show up, right? I'll make sure that you're in charge. 